got 60 mile an hour winds <laughs> and uh, it's blowing a gale. We've had dust all over the place. So Bond's decided it's a good idea to go for a walk so he can get some air across the hair, across the brains. And so here we are out in a storm on the beach. Oh, the pier's closed, but the ice cream man's here still. So we've got the suntan lotion on, having a great time down here. Lucy's really missed out. <laughs> Of course, one of the big advantages of going out on a lovely walk like this, on a day like this, is you have actually got the beach to yourself. It's really nice. Oi. Except for the sand blowing in your face, yeah. the wind ruffling your hair. and the sand gets my legs. The sand gets everywhere. Mm -hmm. This sand is on the path, and look how deep it is. It's like, look, there's the path underneath there. It's terrible. It's so sandy. And it's all the way up here, look. They're gonna have to get this off. Look, the beach is leaking. <laughs> if you look carefully, you can see sand drifts and they really sting on the back of your legs. It's quite an experience. But when you get home, you've got lovely soft skin and it's thoroughly cleansed. With all these beach huts here, it's like an estate. It really is. It's just beach hut after beach hut after beach hut. I don't know if they rent them or people buy them, but they go the whole length of this beach. In actual fact, these are little chalets that you can book for a holiday. But can you imagine the wind up here? So when you arrive in these chalets, you must have to park right at the top of these cliffs and then bring all your stuff down this pathway to the back here. The only thing is, is they are all very close to each other. So you get to know your neighbours. Boldy da <laughs> Boldy da The only thing is, is shopping's gonna be a killer. Mm -hmm. It'd be very difficult. You'd have to come all the way down here with your suitcases and your bottles of water every day. At least we're out of the wind. <clears throat> yeah. And the sand. Halfway up, you can sit down. Very nice. A seat with a view. Bonds off looking for the nearest shop. She's looking out for whether it's worth staying here, you know. I can, I can feel it in my bones. I don't know if you noticed, but while we were walking, a cyclist went by. See, the thing is, is none of them seem to read anything. So what you do is you put your car over there, then you walk down there, <laughs> and then you go down there and then backwards and forwards till you get just to the bottom of there and you do that every day for your shopping. Nice. Oh, God. It's so windy up here, I can't even hold the camera still. It's really, really windy. And Bond's looking for a shop. <laughs> so this is the little trundle we would have to do with our shopping every day. So we've decided about looking at the pros and cons of staying here. First of all, it looks a bit like estate land up there. <laughs> looks a bit occupied. The places are so close to each other that my snoring would wake the whole block up. <laughs> if you got your telly on, you'd know what your neighbors were watching. Shopping is gonna be done by Bont alone, because I'll tell you what, <laughs> I'm not gonna make that. But apart from that, it'd be lovely to be by the sea. <laughs> yeah. That would be nice. Yeah. So we'll have to look for a nice posh place. If you get here, then you realise you've got to park half a mile from where you're going. Yes. And pump all your luggage down all these steps. And you're shopping daily. And you're shopping daily, yes. And there is no shop up there. And there is no shop, so you go down with no shopping. Yeah. It wouldn't well, be that's so not bad. Much fun, is it? bad if there was a big shop up there that's why I went to have a look exactly it, re it really wouldn't be as bad exactly but you would have to get in your car drive to the shop come back and then walk all the way down with it exactly look at what we've missed it's not even running oh dear it's a bit rough it's amazing isn't it you wait for a day when you get 60 mile an hour winds 
go skiing on the water with a with a kite or go for a quick dip in the sea it's, uh, it's the perfect day for that really <laughs> I reckon he's trying to get to France cheap Christ he's off you wouldn't believe this wind it's just ridiculous surprises me he just doesn't take off really oh he's trying I'm trying to hide behind a lamppost because I'm getting blown all over the place and he's trying to hold on to his kite without e ending up in, uh, in the north of England. Oh, he's off again, he's a bit springy. I suppose it is a cheap way of getting to France on a day like this. It's a seagull, hardly getting anywhere. That's a lift from the top of the cliff, like the one at Bournemouth except they put a load of rocks there to uh, probably hold it up because the one at Bournemouth actually collapsed a few years back and it was so bad that even the rail bent. I couldn't believe it when I saw it. But um, I did know there was one here as well coming down the cliff. But obviously they suspect that's not gonna be uh, secure really. So they've battened it all up for now with rocks there and, and the, um, some kind of covering over the rocks to hold them in place. It's a better view of it. I can't get round there to see it actually. It's still windy on the next day. No peace for us, is there? The sandstorm down here was unbelievable. There are really quite a lot of people here and no one really is wearing a mask either. So it's a bit crowded for the uh, isolation stuff that's supposed to be going on. It's, uh, it's not happening here. Yeah, I've gone dizzy now. You've gone dizzy? Yeah. We've had sand, we've had everything. Storms and tempest, the lot. <laughs> Uh. What are you doing? Peeling out the sand for my kids. We're going to come here next week, but because of the safety measures, you have to book it online and even tell them the time that you're going to be here at. And um, I think you have to be out by a certain time as well. So it's all very secure and um, only so many people in the place at the same time. The sand has even blown up over here. It's a long way from the sea. <laughs> So the winds must have been really bad here too. At least the promenade looks okay, it's not too bad. Just a little dusting of sand, that's all. Yeah. Gotta sort the hair out after all that wind. It's gonna look, you've gotta wash me brush it because it will be so knotty. Oh look at that. The oh. beach is coming out. I can't, I can't brush I've got it. Sand in my mouth. Yum. You've got sand in your mouth, have you? I have. Yep. Mm. Too hot now. Essence of Bournemouth. That that actually sounds like you're combing sa um, oh, wire. Oh, Nick's. Sounds like she's combing Nick's. Couple of saddos and their hair. I can't do it out here, it's too windy. She can't do it, it's too windy. No. <laughs> Poor thing. So you'll have to, have to, you just have to make do with what you got Trust then. Me, you can't. Tie it up, you'll have to tie it up. No, the wind will, I can't tie my hair up in wind, I've tried. I oh, shall I do it? No, it, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a very nice place, but there's an awful lot of people here. What's Winnie the Pooh doing down here? Should be in Ashdown Forest. Oh. They say you should try to find yourself a bit stuck in the valley. I really like these palms. I spent all of my money on Cool, what is it about this place and bears? Another one, koala now instead of Winnie. It is actually surprising how many people are out here. And to be honest, most aren't wearing masks. It's a nice shopping centre actually. It's really nice. Enclosed, no traffic. Quick stop for a coffee. Now the point of today's discussion <laughs> is to discuss the possibility of going to McDonald's. Oh. Could you please turn your phone off during the interview? <laughs> Sorry. And the possibility of going to McDonald's 
on a, a day like today, which people would only understand if they saw the weather. So, okay, feel free to have your argument. Well, it's half price, so I think we should make the most of things, but it's really pouring down, and I asked to see if there was uh, an umbrella that we could all get under. Because she's a fox. Yeah, because I don't like the rain on my hair, and Lucy said wear a hat, but if I wear a hat, then it gets squished. So I think we need to discuss all these things. And what are the problems then? The, the good things? <laughs> um, Hey, my muffins are really nice, but also, Mum actually said we're going tomorrow as well. Yeah, I said let's go to today oh, and tomorrow. I thought you were going to deny that. <laughs> um, so she has do. promised today and tomorrow. But not Wednesday, because it's too stressful, because we've got to get out the door by 10, and I couldn't stand the stress. But Lucy, you've missed out the one crucial bit of the argument. Have I? It's very cheap. Oh yeah, it's very yeah. cheap. Yeah. Three Egg McMuffins. One, two, three, and Sorry, hash brown. Hash brown. I have the song. Right, so here we are, the Oceanarium. We finally got in. Book the tickets early and you have to book a slot and we have a, a two hour slot. <laughs> These are sturgeon. Every which way. There are the turns. Inca turns. Ah, oh, I thought they were Arctic. They don't mind people, do they? That brown one down there, he's called Pingu. That's an unusual fish. They don't look real, do they? No, they just look like plastic bones. 
<laughs> yeah. Plastic bags floating in the sea. Yeah. You're both glowing like go ghoulies. Little ghosts. <laughs> puffers, yeah. We've seen puffers. Some kind of garfish. There's the puffer. I think they're poisonous if you eat them, you know. Uh, they have to be cooked a certain way. If Lucy was younger, she'd have had a field day in here. She'd try and buy the whole shop. <laughs> Lucy, yeah. they got bracelets here, leather bracelets. Do you fancy a leather bracelet? They're weird. Oh, I don't I see. Okay. They're, they're all right. Oh. That's too childish and that's too boring. Oh. <laughs> Sparkly turtles. How much? One pound sixty. One pound sixty. Yeah, you can have one of those. You know, I thought you'd be buying something. I want a smiley octopus. You want a smiley octopus? <laughs> there you are, a smiley octopus. I bet they cost a bit, don't they? Carve. What is it? It's like a necklace and it's got like, it's probably like it's supposed to be a tree. It's really life. nice. Yeah, it's it's a tree of life. It's very nice. Have you decided? Oh dear. It's too hard. Go on, get it, get it. Whatever it is. She doesn't know where they're I'm not that optimal. It's really nice in there, very nice. Do you know, I can't believe that we're going to stand here for an hour in this queue, waiting to get into Wagamama. It's actually an hour's wait. And this is the criminal that's making us do it. <laughs> Lucy's just hoping to get a little bit of money by sitting there and begging a bit. Oh, yeah. We've been queuing just half an hour now, and we moved about six feet, I think. Has anyone lost the will yet? Yes. I haven't. 45 minutes, but the sign is now getting actually closer, so maybe the hour is about right. That's what they told us. A mere 55 minutes now, we're nearly there. The big total, an hour and a quarter for a Wagamama. We've just met the neighbour <laughs> who lives below us and we found out a few interesting things like she can hear us <laughs> and when we first got to the flat I found a bookmark in a book that said they're listening and we thought the landlord must have cameras up on the ceiling or something um, but it turns out it's the woman down below and guess what Lucy keeps doing? What do you keep doing, Lucy? <gasps> oh, smiling and being an overall amazing person. But this, this lady says she can hear everything. She made a point of saying she can hear everything and she can hear us talking. And Lucy so, thinks that she can hear her smiling. <coughs> I spent a week and a half watching the television and going, wow! <laughs> And Bond's been putting the washing machine on through the night. Oh, and the dishwasher. And the dishwasher. <gasps> and this poor Polish woman below us oh, is hearing everything. Yes, she and she's is. got very good hearing. And she's very lovely. She's really nice. Well, she's got no choice because yeah. we're going soon. <laughs> but probably when we've gone, um, the next lot will come in and do the same. So maybe I'll leave a little message for them as yeah, well. I think there needs to be some message. So tomorrow <laughs> is our last day. Oh. It's a nice oh. thing to find out just before you leave that someone's <laughs> been listening to you for two weeks. <laughs>
Yeah, shame on you. Don't you feel bad now? For what? Well, you know exactly what I'm talking about. No, I don't. That's okay. And the sad part is, we haven't been told about this woman listening until the second to last day before we've gone home. So, um, that's a full almost two weeks of her listening to us without saying a word. How bad is that? It's the last day today, so the weather's doing its best for us. What those blokes decided to do in the 60 mile an hour winds the other day is called kite surfing. So there you go, it's not, it's not uh, kiting, it's not surfing, it's kite surfing. Right, do you know which way is up? No. Okay, it's that way. How do you do it? Off you go, pull. <laughs> Go! <laughs> Go! Well, have you done anything yet? Really, I don't get okay. it. Am I supposed to lift my whole body up? Yeah. Oh, I can't it's like, do that. It's like push-ups, oh, but pull-ups. Oh, wow. shame. Wait, 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 wait. I can do it, I can do it. Very good, one. I'm going to try it. Two. <laughs> okay, here we go. Bot's having a go now. Empty. Is that it? Oh, is that it? Yeah. Oh, have you not got to lift your legs up? <laughs> That's all you got to do? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can do that. I thought you had to lift your whole body up. Oh, I don't know. I'll see oh, if I can do that. I think, I think Mum's having a bit of a joke on us. <laughs> but not That's feet. what you're supposed to be doing. That's what I just did. Oh, oh yeah! yeah. <laughs> God, you show off. <laughs> that was good, yeah, strong dad, strong dad. We saw this church at a distance from the wheel we were on, the ferris wheel, but uh, we just got here and look at the sign. It says, award-winning nightclub. Oh, that's interesting. On a church. It actually is a nightclub. I thought it was a church. How bad is that? Oh, they've converted a church to a nightclub. <laughs> I can't get over this place. Outside, it looks just like a church. It's actually a conversion and is a nightclub. It's just unbelievable inside. It's so dark though, I can't film it, but uh, it's got a massive bar, dance space. It's, it's unbelievable. Eight pounds for a burger, chips and beer. Now, that's pretty good, isn't it? There's a massive screen on the outside of that shop and there's full sun on it and you can still see the display dead easy. So that's a really, really bright display. <laughs> Not seen that before. So far the weather's okay but oh dear, it looks like it's threatening. Last visit to Primark. Now the sun's gone down, you can see how bright that thing is. Amazing. They're still in Primark and it's now threatening to rain. I think I'm going to get wet. These scooters are a pain. Here they are. Hello. Hello. So that's it. Another day and the holiday is all over. Like a flash. Two weeks gone in Bournemouth. Can't believe it. Maybe come back next year. <laughs>